without that flasher, not being able to see where your jig is, where the fish is, uh, man, it's got to have a flasher. Hi, I'm Troy Peterson from Mr. Blue Eagle Guide Service and the JJ Keller Fishing Team. And today we're out on Lake Winnebago, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the differences between the three models of the new Hummingbird Ice Series flashers. And what we have is the Ice 55, the Ice 45, and the Ice 35. Now each one has its own differences, Ice 55 being obviously the top of the line. It's going to be six colors, 2400 watts of power. The 45 is going to be three colors with 1800 watts of power, and the Ice 35 is going to be the entry level at 800 watts of power with three colors as well. We're going to show you how they work. Hopefully we'll catch some fish and uh, let's get to it. Let's take a look at the Ice 55. With the Hummingbird Ice 55, we have a bunch of different features. Uh, the color palette, uh, meaning that we can switch between the three different colors. We have the mark button. And what that mark button is going to do when we press that is it actually gives you a little red line, a pink line here, and we can move that down, and I tell you what, where we've been catching these fish is about the uh, 14 foot mark. So let's say I have uh, some, some of my kids out, or I have somebody out, and I tell them, you know, right there, keep your bait around the 14 foot mark, that's where most of the fish are coming. Now you can put that there, use it as a reference. The other thing that it works good for is when we're fishing in a pocket of weeds, or we're fishing in a weed flat, uh, let's say we're in 15 feet of water, uh, we have weeds that come up to about 8 or 9 feet and I'll take my mark, put this at the top of the weeds, that way when I move around and I get into a pocket at least I still know that the weeds are at, uh, the tops of the weeds are at 8 feet, um, I may be in a pocket but I can see deeper and it'll just give you that extra reference. Alright, so now we have our mark button and we have our zoom button here our gain button and what the gain button also does is turns the backlit LCD on or off. And we have the noise button and what your noise button does is you can see here your noise rejection that is your interference rejection. There are 10 different levels of the interference rejection. Now one thing that is nice with these is that the hummingbirds run on a total different frequency so we don't have to worry about interfering with a Vexar or Markham. Now what we will do is as more and more hummingbirds become out on the ice you will have to play around and reduce the interference from different hummingbirds. But as far as Vexars or Markhams go you don't have to worry about them. And then we have our beam button and the beam button what that does is changes our cone angle from a 9 to a 19 degree cone. As you can see here we have our wide angle which is our 19 degree cone and by simply pressing the button it goes to the narrow beam which is our 9 degree cone. And then if we press in the beam button and hold it, it will actually show the percentage of the battery that's remaining. Now here I am, it's showing that I have about 20% remaining. And then you come down here to the power button. Now if you look you have your ranges but you also have an A and what the A is is auto mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and the nice part about the auto mode is it will find the depth scale you need. Alright, so what we're looking at, we're actually looking at about 18 feet of water. Now here is going to be the top of your water column as you go all the way down. You'll come down to the bottom and you're in, we're in about 17 and a half, 18 feet of water. Here's our 18 and here's our depth reading here telling us that we're in 17 and a half feet. Now as I drop my jig down, we're going to see it go down. Right now, here's my jig, and there's my swivel. All right, so now we have my jig here at 16 feet. We're in 18 feet of water, and I have my wide angle cone on. As you can see, I went to my narrow beam cone, and now because the, oh, and here we have a fish coming down there. Uh, when I go to the narrow beam, I'm actually tightening the cone angle so I'm looking more directly what's right below me versus off to the side and you're going to see more of what's right underneath the hole versus you know six feet out to the side. So if we go back to the wide beam you can see I'm just going to see my jig. Go back to the narrow beam now I see my jig and my swivel. Every hummingbird flasher does have a variable zoom and what I mean by variable 
is it can be moved anywhere in the water column. Now all we have to do to turn that on is press our zoom button. And what we get are two little blue lines. Now that represents our five foot window. And by simply turning the dial, we can control that and move that anywhere we want. So what we're gonna do is actually zoom in right near the bottom here. As you can see, here's my jig. And then this will be that 17 and a half feet. Now what's nice about this is there's no split screen. You still have the full water column. As you'll see, I'll drop my jig down towards the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll reel my jig up. And as you can see, it's in the zoom window. And as soon as it comes back out, you see that the definition's a little bit less. And I'll reel my jig all the way back up to the surface. And there, and there's the top. And we'll drop it back down. It looks like we have some fish coming down there on the screen. We'll see if we can't dig some of those up. There's a target, and there's a fish. There we go. Let's take a look at the Hummingbird Ice 45. When turning on the Ice 45, like the 55, we do have the auto mode, so we can turn it on, and it will properly adjust our dial to whatever depth range that we're in, so we don't have to worry um, about which depth we're fishing in. Now, our ICE 45 control panel, we have our zoom button, our gain button, and it will also control the backlit display, our noise button, which is our interference rejection, and then our dual beam button. Also, with the noise, we can change from feet to meters, and then the beam button will show the battery gauge on the LCD screen simply by pressing that, holding it in, and it'll show you that we do have 75% of the battery remaining. And then the gain button, pressing the holding the gain button in, will turn on the backlit display. Now the ICE 45 is a three color flasher. It does have the green, the yellow, and the red, and red being a stronger signal. We'll turn the gain up here so you can see the three different colors. <clears throat> green is going to be weak, yellow is going to be a medium signal, and red will be your stronger signal. Now, how I like to fish them is I turn my gain down just so I can see my jig, and it's been about the four or the five, and that way there, anything else that does come into this screen will show up hopefully a, a yellow or a red, and we'll be able to tell the difference between the size of the fish. The nice feature with the LCD screen, rather than looking at a whole bunch of numbers on the, you know, like the Vexlars or the Markhams, is that it shows you your depth gauge that you're in. So let's, for example, we're looking, right now we're fishing in the 20 foot depth scale. If we go to the 40 foot depth scale, it'll go zero to 40. And likewise with the zero to 80, and the 0 to 200. So it tells you your numbers on the screen so there's no guessing and it makes it very easy for anybody to use. And because we're fishing in 20 feet, we're going to go back and back on the screen. We've seen the 45 and the 55. Let's take a look at the ICE 35. On the 35, our control panel is a little bit different. We have the zoom button, the gain button, the noise or the interference rejection button, and then our dual beam button, and that's the one that switches from narrow to wide. And also you can see the battery, uh, by pressing and holding in the beam button, it will show the battery gauge and give you the information shown here on the screen. Okay. Now on the ICE 35, because we don't have the LCD screen, in order to tell the difference and our adjustments here, what we do is you can see the blue up on the top. Right now, that's the narrow beam, there's the wide beam. So you can see the blue get wider as uh, we switch from the two beams. For the noise rejection or interference rejection, by turning the dial, you can see the blue get wider or narrow. So that's basically our intensity level. And the same with our gain. As the intensity level goes up, the blue band gets wider as the intensity goes down, our gain goes down, it gets narrower. So that will show you, you know, your, basically your, your intensity of all the features on the 35. And then obviously our zoom button, the two blue lines, 
we can adjust that. Whatever's in between the two blue lines is gonna represent a zoom window of five feet. A couple of the added features on the 55 is the nice padded soft case. The nine amp battery versus a seven amp battery on the 45 and the 35. And the other nice thing is too is that all the shuttles were designed round so they'll fit in the bottom of the five gallon bucket nice and easy. Well, I hope I've been able to help explain the differences in all the features of the three models of the Humminbird Flasher. Uh, price wise, the ICE 35 is going to run $300, ICE 45 is going to be $400, and the ICE 55 is going to be $500. Um, all of them are great units, they all are feature laden and uh, will provide you a great tool to use out on the ice. I'm Troy Peterson from Mr. Blue Hill Guide Service and the JJ Keller Fishing Team. Wishing all you guys best of luck on the ice and good luck fishing.